Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at part 41 from your basic parts and this will be a semicircle. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, if we head back into the program here, so now we're going to be looking at P41 or part 41 from our basic parts. Like I mentioned, our basic parts consist out of either one or two shapes. So at the moment, we, as you can see here, have four down already. So now we're going to be looking at the fifth part. So I'll, what I want to do is go to flat parts like before, and then we navigate to P41. Just zoom in here for you guys. And then uh, if we click this, we will see the part opens. It's got two measurements, it's got a V and an R. And uh, important thing about this one, I would say, is make sure your V is always smaller than your R. Otherwise, what will happen is, let me show you an example. Let's go 100 and make this one 101. We say OK, and you can see nothing happens, and it highlights the one that's the problem. So then what we want to do is if we swap this around just by one, say OK, and now suddenly our preview pops up. So I would say with this shape, it's an important one with a semicircle. Make sure your V is um, at least one smaller, but ideally according to your measurements, obviously. And then so I'm just going to make this one maybe around 200, got this one around 50. And we have a little preview here, it looks good for me. So I'm going to add the manual quantities to one say add and then we can add this shape to our actual um, canvas or uh, cutting plate so we're going to put that there so once again this is p41 semicircle and uh, just the important thing about this one make sure your v value is smaller than your actual um, r value so once again v value smaller than r value then you should be fine yeah, otherwise that is it on the semicircle. If we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the me form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.